Oh, hold on. Don't mind. Don't mind. Don't mind. So I want to talk about something so important, and I'm only putting this on my Facebook because I want to control how it looks through Facebook instead of YouTube. I already know that the people on my on my Facebook, y'all on my friends list, but y'all not really, y'all don't really, you know, y'all. Some of y'all, I'm not going to say everybody, because the ones that's going to watch this, obviously y'all be watching me, y'all be listening to what I got to say about the topics that are very important in our lives right now that y'all don't be listening to other people don't be listening to but I want to talk about all of the red flags the signs the foreshadows of what the freaking heck is finna go down this winter what's finna go down with the United States in the next few years it already started with COVID started us going down in history basically COVID was the first and it really wasn't the first but it was the first thing that actually happened that should have told everybody History repeating itself. We in that time. It's time to. It's time to take precautions. First off, I want to say the fact that we are supposed to hit default October eighteenth, around October eighteenth, during that time. The fact the fact that the government was just about to shut down, and it took like a few hours before it was about to shut down for them to pass the bill, get it to the president, and the president to sign it to give them the leverage of spending more money to pay our United States of America bills. All of this is some red flag foreshadow that stuff about to get real. I'm gonna try not to cuss because I'm gonna post this on YouTube and I do want more people to see this because it's very important. Um, and I wanna also talk about the fact that during Biden's, Biden's speeches a while back, he kept reiterating it's going to be a cold winter. It's going to be a cold winter. Conspiracy theorists and all of us people, all our spiritual people on TikTok since COVID started, been having all the info about there's going to be a food shortage. Now it's in the news. There's going to be um, um, a blackout, which a blackout means no internet, no electricity, all that kind of stuff. And it was supposed to happen in winter. Boom. He keeps saying it's going to be a cold winter. The default going to happen government shutting down, things finna get real. All of these things really foreshadowing itself. But, specifically, COVID and the quarantine, I'm telling y'all, what I'm trying to, what I've been saying this whole past year, online, on my pages, I was going through something and it was not normal. It was some spiritual stuff. It wasn't demonic, none of that kind of stuff. Don't start getting your panties in a bunch. That's not what it was. It's real. We are celestial beings in whatever the freaking heck type of world we're in. Who knows really where we are? We don't know really where we are. Because where we are wasn't even created when they came here. It, they, they had to put names to things. At first, there was 13 states. Now, there's 50 states. Things steady be changing. At first, Antarctica was frozen. And that was starting to, you know, melt. Global change. And I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not the type of person that feel like us humans... Um, other than cleaning up our planet, because it's our planet and it's our trash, yes. Um, I'm not the type of person who think that we have a say-so that us trying to change the fact that global warming is happening and this climate change is happening. I don't think it's up to us to change it because I'm pretty sure Antarctica wasn't always frozen from the beginning of time. It's water that got frozen. The same way we how the blackout is going to happen and, and the, the things that we've been saying for years now on tiktok conspiracy theories that's what they wanted to call it now all of a sudden now the the, the leading news they want to put it in their news and make it seem like it's new stuff and make it seem like it's top news when we've been saying it like we've been saying it y'all can't forget the government the news people all of these people they're human beings just like us y'all need to start listening to people like me who say the stuff that we say before it go out being in the public before it get to the public, before these news people got to put their articles out there, they got to do their re research, especially if they're not in tune like us to know exactly what's going on, how we get it before. They got to do their research, and they do their research off of what we say, but they get all the credit. Blows my mind. But no, what I'm really trying to say is 
I think we need to start migrating. The climate is changing. Things are happening. We're not really from here. It gets so cold here. Other than, of course, other than all those other, you know, coastal areas, Florida, um, California. But they have wildfires and stuff. They was having wildfires. But now that it's going to be winter, it's, it's fall. It's going to be winter. Now it's cooling down in those areas too as well. So I think we need to start migrating. And then that whole thing about, oh, um, Los Angeles, California, all that kind of stuff in the next few years or something like that, how it's going to it's gonna get brought away from um, the United States. It's going to float away or something. Supposedly the Golden Gate Bridge going to fall, create a tsunami, you know, all of that kind of stuff. All the kind of stuff that's supposed to happen in the end of the world type stuff. I think we really need to start paying attention to really what's going on in reality. People are living in false realities. People are thinking about things that don't need to be thought about. If the government shut down, y'all not eating. If the government shut down, there's going to be pure chaos in the world. It's going to be literally like a little purge. It's going to be literally like a little apocalypse. If stuff go bad, how it's foreshadowing is going to go bad. Think about, y'all don't think this stuff can happen. It's, it can't happen to us. It's not going to happen. Those people in the 19... 20s and 1930s all of the 19 they didn't think that either probably but guess what we learned about it in history class they getting on my nerves we we learned about it in history class it happened they were starving the bible revelations famine starvation food shortage in the united states the government shut down blackout it's gonna be winter it's gonna be cold like this stuff, all of the all of the things we need to know are right in front of our faces. It's upon us to take the we have to take the driver's seat in our life. We're in the y'all be in the passenger side. Y'all have to get in the driver's seat and make these changes. And of course, everything that's gonna happen, you're gonna need faith. That's why it was so important that first COVID shutdown for people to be in solitude. Stay in the house, y'all. Be around y'all family, y'all. All of these things that we were supposed to, they was telling us to do then. And like I'm saying, I had the chance, like, I was in the house going through all of this mental, I was going through so much shadow work, the dark night of the soul, all of these things from my childhood, all of these things from inside of me, all of these things that I've been, been having inside of me, giving me, like, depression, so-called mental illness type stuff, symptoms like that, all that kind of stuff, all of that stuff released from me. When I, when COVID happened and I was in quarantine in a house and I start waking up to all of these things, it was like a bunch of snaps, just boom, 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 reality hit. This is a spiritual experience that we are going through. We are living beings. We are, and we're not going to be living the whole time. This is temporary life right now. This form of life is temporary. There's a bigger picture. Things to be learned. And that's why God is real. Don't go into thinking, oh, God is real or God and Jesus. And don't go into thinking about what other people put and planted inside of your head was God, was Jesus, was the way. You have to have a personal connection. And that takes solitude. That takes being by yourself. Or if you're not by yourself, that takes going within yourself. That's the whole point, going within yourself. Healing all of these earthly connections, any emotion that is any emotion, to be honest, whether it's happiness or sadness, good or bad, it's earthly. It's earthly. Get rid of it. Get rid of all of these false in a in a what's that word? Get rid of the false realities. That's a, that's all. Forgive people and forgive situations for the well-being of, you, of your soul, of your spirit. Lighten up. Ooh, why is trying to... Mark, don't be playing with me because I'm. you know I'm speaking facts on here, Mark. So don't be trying to freaking mess up my life, bro. That's irritating. But it's foreshadowing. And to all of the places in the United States where it snows when it gets cold, where I'm at, when I used to live here and stuff like that, I know for a fact, like, on Halloween, we would be out trick-or-treating and it just start snowing. Cold as ever. Walking in the snow. I mean, walking in the cold, it starts snowing. Boom. 
I'm dipping. I'm leaving. I can't be here. I don't even like being cold. I'm anemic. My hands and feet already cold. Before October hit, I was cold. No, I'm black. I need to be in the sun. I need to leave. But that takes faith. That takes faith in the situation because you got the money to leave. You got the funds. You got the, you got the, you got the, like, do you have the tools and necessities you need to actually leave the ideal way of going on vacation and leaving? No. Do I have faith that if I go, what I need will find me? Yes. Because that's how I got here. When I got here, I didn't have nothing. But I bet you right now I got everything I need and more. Everybody need to have faith. Well, first, everybody need to get in tune and get in line because you can't have faith in something that you have no connection to. And, and the people in the government... First of all, no matter if you're Republican, Democratic, indifferent, anything, all of that is, is, is everything is still the same. They're still part of one party. They're, they're the government. It doesn't matter about which side they're on, which, which opinions is which. These people are humans just like us in a system that we technically have power over, but y'all don't understand that. I mean, I'm glad people came together and started voting when it was time to vote Biden into office. Yes, y'all did y'all stuff with that. Y'all came up, y'all worked up, y'all went and voted, and y'all did y'all stuff. Not everybody, though, but more people than usual. More of a certain kind of people than usual, which y'all saw what type of difference that made, right? When we step into our power, y'all see the type of difference that make, right? Stuff is going down, it's going down, whether we like it or not, whether y'all on time with it or not, time gonna come and it's gonna go by and it's gonna happen how it's gonna happen. And yeah, unless, unless you living in the present moment with Dharma, which is the true realities, no falsehoods, no, no sugar cone, no nothing, you're gonna be, you're gonna be part of the bad part. When they, when, we, when in, in 10 years, 30, no, nah, I'm gonna say 30, because when we was learning about what happened with the depression, Two, that was in the 2000s and that was in the 1900s so in 50 years when the people of the new world the people in the society of the new world pass what we are going through right now because what we are going through right now is that reset the same way that the, the great depression made a reset in the united states then the recession all that kind of stuff the spanish flu all that kind of stuff the the roaring 20s you know great gatsby all of that the that that era was the reset into what we us us people in the 2000s the 1900s i mean not 1900s but the 1980s and up basically what we was going through what the life in the, the world that we know that's currently changing that currently already changed because it hasn't been the same since before COVID, after Y'all, they tried to they tried to put us out there. These people are human, and a lot of them don't believe in what really is going on. Just because they're in higher positions, so called, doesn't mean they are in higher positions spiritually. What was Jesus? How much money did Jesus have? What did the Bible say Jesus looked like? Like y'all, y'all, y'all gotta. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, and in, in a minute, in a minute, us people that know, us people that that's in tune, that's really in tune, we ain't gonna be able to say nothing to y'all no more. We ain't gonna be able to put nothing out there no more. We ain't gonna be able to tell y'all these good truth bonds. We ain't gonna be able to do that no more. We gonna have to. They gonna silence us, and we gonna be silenced in our rightful rightful spot. The same way Noah. God, God placed in Noah to tell everybody about the flood and he built the ark. And at a certain point before the flood started, he had to close them doors. And whoever wasn't in there, they was left out forever. That's what's happening. The Bible is the Bible and its personification. Because everything in the Bible, if or however it happened back then and what they saying actually happened, which of course, of course it actually happened, but it was back then and we can't internalize the fact that it actually happened. When you put it in today's, in today's, in, in today's world and you know that history is repeating itself, it's literally the same thing. It's literally the same thing. The same outline, 
just different details. It's replayed, it's replayed. And when all of this stuff happened, there's there's not gonna be a there's not gonna be a oh, these are celebrities and these are normal people. There's not gonna be a these are government officials, these are military people, these are um blah 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 blah. In the beginning, in the beginning when the government people, because they have the weapons, they have these tools and all that kind of stuff, that might be a little thing that might, that is probably going to be like an important part, but in the bo rock bottom, all, all godly, when God reveals himself, when things really go how it's going and it's going to be judgment day, doomsday, all that kind of stuff. There's no no earthly titles. There's no earthly titles. There's God's people and the people God have to discipline because we're all God's children. Some of us, some of them, some of y'all, y'all just let Satan lead y'all down the wrong path. Misery loves company. And Satan definitely got a lot of people in his corner. But never forget. Who cast God? Who cast the, Who cast Satan into where he is? God. So it's no. It's no question of if the if God is the the ruler, the Almighty. Satan was an angel, was a God's son, just like Adam, just like um, Jesus, all of that. In the Book of Genesis, you put it into the life that we live now. The Book of Genesis is telling us how sex is a sin. And how the atom of the sperm bit the apple, the egg of Eve, and created something new that God didn't create himself, but they created each other. Those two things went from one that God created to something new that they created on their own. And that's why we're all born into sin, because we all came here through sex. Other than Jesus, supposedly. Um, then Adam and Eve, of course, because God created them. Y'all know, y'all, y'all don't know, y'all don't know. I'm telling y'all before, like, it's literally, what is it? It's October, it's October 7th, y'all. Oh my God, it's October 7th. Like, this year is going by fast anyway. It went by fast anyway, and it's the end of the year anyway. So y'all know it's going to be over with. Literally. And even if what I'm saying, the timeline ain't going to hit us, oh, this winter or, oh, right now, even though obviously this winter is going to be something. It's something, obviously some stuff is going to happen. There is no, there, there is no way it's not. It's everything is foreshadowing. Everything is foreshadowing. Get in tune with astrology. Go, go look up these astrology readings and the planetary alignments of what's happening. We went from Capricorn to Aquarius. Where Capricorn was 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 systems and government and structure like that, like that. Where Aquarius, that's rebellion, that's spirituality, that's um. Go look it up. I'm telling y'all. And to all the people in the world, whoever had that, whoever liked that video and liked those um things of when they said for all of us to come together, put our money together, and to put our stuff together, even though if the, if the default happened, y'all know, right, these money, this paper money, this paper money is a product, been saying that, been trying to tell y'all that part too. It's a product that somebody else, just like us, somebody else, probably a family uni unit, because family is literally the most important part. When you when you when you getting grounded in in earth and in, in the earth you you grounded to all the black people in the world to all the black men in the world with kids out there and to the women that you know because I ain't gonna just put it on the men and say that they. 100% all of them left their kids and left their families because it probably is the woman too. Like, y'all, it's both y'all faults. It's both y'all faults. It's not just one person's fault. It's not one person's fault more than the other. No, 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 no. No blame game. It's both y'all faults. Both of y'all faults. Outside source faults too, but definitely both of y'all faults. Spiritually, both of y'all. Because... Both of y'all 
acted in a sinful way and created a child or multiple children and didn't hold no responsibility to y'all actions other than the parent that kept the kid and raised the kid their whole life then yeah da 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 boom yeah but the family union unit that I'm talking about, the union of a family, all of that kind of stuff. And that's exactly why in the Bible it says before marriage, don't have kids, don't have kids. It's a sin to have kids before marriage. It don't mean no paperly marriage of humans who made this certificate and created this ceremony. No, that's not what it means. That's Y'all could take it like that, but that's not what it means. That means a balanced spiritual woman who is in tune with the universe and God. She going through life. She going through life exactly how God want her to, to go. And then on the other side, there's a man. Spiritual in, in tune with God. Not letting sexual desires and sexual um, sins plague his mind and plague his actions. Both of them doing their thing in life. And when those sinful sexual people try to come towards them. And they know, I don't want to start a family with this person. They're not balanced. They're not okay in the head. We're not going to create um, a family that's going to last forever. We're not going to create a union that I'm going to be equipped to mentally incorporate myself with for the rest of my life. Y'all passing on that. Y'all out there y'all out there having mindless sex with people. Then be mad when you get pregnant. Then be mad when y'all hate each other. Then be mad when ain't nobody doing nothing for the kid. Then be mad when they get a new girlfriend, a new boyfriend. In the Bible, what it means is you going through your journey, your equal, your, your, your self journey of either the feminine or the masculine, whichever one you are, and you doing right and you in alignment. You gonna curve all the people. You gonna automatically know all of the people that have devilish, sinful ways to them, bad intentions, red flags. You ain't gonna deal with them. You gonna keep going. And then one day, eventually, you're gonna meet that man that's on the same vibration as you and y'all gonna just know boom together that's y'all boom and i'm not trying to make anybody feel bad because what's done can never because things do happen for a reason and like it's way it's way back how it started so it's 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 forgivable and it's not you know the 100 percent worst thing ever so i'm not trying to say it like that either because that that does sound like it just sounds like woo. i know how it sounds but the truth hurts. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. I'm going to just say that as well. But for further notice, for the people who aren't sexually active, for the kids, for the people who got sexually active but now are in tune with the fact that they don't just want to be having sex with anybody. They want to find somebody who they can love forever, who going to love them and be right for them. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. And that's why you shouldn't be having sex with people you just met. Because they're going to ghost your ass right after y'all have sex. Ooh, I just cussed. I said I was going to cuss. And then, yeah. Now think about if all of the people you ever had sex with, you had got pregnant by. Would you be okay with that? Would you? Are you thinking, oh, yeah, they would be some good dads. We would have had, we, 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 we would have been able to take care of the kids together. We would have been at the kids' um, graduation together. We would have been at the, at the soccer games together, the football games. Or not even necessarily together, but all we would have both emotionally, mentally, um, physically supported the child. It would have been okay. If you can't say yes to that, I'm telling you right now, change your ways. Not to be hypocritical and not to be judgmental either. Because that's another thing. And that's why the Christian um, way of life and everything and how church people talking everything they be telling us about the bible and they more than likely do have a personal connection of no and know why it's so important and like how i was just talking it comes off it comes off the wrong way because really the truth hurts like i said the truth really hurts but also at the same time we are human and we all have sins we all make mistakes and we all learning we're all learning we're all in this game the simulation this matrix of life learning the lesson that needs to be learned the same way those people back in the day went through what they went through and it taught us in history class what not to do. It taught us what in, in history class the signs 
So when they were living through that, all of that stuff that we were taught in history class about the Great Depression, the recession, all that kind of stuff, what happened back then with the Spanish flu, all of that kind of stuff. When they were going through it, just how we going through COVID right now, we don't know what's to come next and what's going to happen in the future. Um, why did it just do that? Anyway, they was going through it like that too. But we had the pleasure, not the pleasure, but we had the, the resource of seeing the outcome, seeing how it started, the whole thing of what they went through and the outcome of what they went through from a different point of view than what they lived. We, we, their life story put all together. We learned it like that. So we could backtrack and we could look at everything and analyze everything. They couldn't do that. And that's probably why it was as bad as it was for them. We had that luxury to do that. So now it's our turn. Are y'all going to learn history so we don't repeat it? Or are y'all going to not care and be doomed to repeat it? We're collectively one person. Now, are we in the womb or are we in the mind? And that's what I, that's my question. Are we in the universe's womb right now, ready to be born in however long? Or are we in the mind and we're creating, co-creating and playing things out for people? Or not people, but things or however it go. I don't know. It's a, it's a deep topic. I promise you. I promise y'all. When I had so-called friends and I would talk about stuff like this, I promise y'all, they would be on their phone playing games, boom, 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 telling me that I was weird, telling me they wasn't going to do nothing with me no more because I was weird and I would talk about weird stuff and they'd be glued to their freaking phones playing some game called CD. Oh, Call of Duty, I think, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. CD, though. Just boom. And I'd be over there like, y'all, you know, the other day, I watched the trees. Then I I saw the leaves on the trees change. They went from this little. They went from this little being orange, and now they big with the orange that I saw to begin with at the tip. I saw it. It just grew overnight. I saw the ghost in the corner. It didn't say nothing. It didn't really move, but I saw it. Um, you know, I heard my grandma, who I never met, who died when my mama was thirteen, talk to me and speak to me, and I asked her a question like, "How do I know it's for real, you?" And then she told me, and then I asked my mama about a certain thing. She told me, and my mom was like, "Yeah," and I was like, "Oh, that's confirmation." I was like, "In my dream, this happened, boom, 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 and it's gonna happen today." And they be like, "Bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? Can you please shut up?" And then boom, it happened, and I be like, "Yo, see, I just told you I was in my my dream," and they be like, "You you didn't say that. You didn't no, that, you didn't say that." And I be like. I said that. What is y'all talking about? I told y'all this was going to happen and now it's happening. And y'all didn't listen to me when I said it was going to happen and now it's happening. I even told them before the group broke up. I was like, so this is going to happen. It's going to be this, this, this side against this side against this side. And everybody ain't going to be friends no more. Something going to happen. It's going to be like crazy. People, you know, you true colors going to be coming out and all this kind of stuff. I told them that too. They was like, okay, Kiera. Now in time, where we at now, all three sides for me, actually, because now it's four sides, because I'm on my own side, so I ain't gonna lie. Other than when it comes down to the nitty gritty, the nitty gritty, all of the United States, uh, not all of the United States, but all of the humanity, all of humanity, the nations, all of that, we got to come together as one because we are all pieces of a bigger picture, a bigger puzzle. So that's why I said in the beginning that our emotions, our earthly emotions, our earthly ways of thinking, our manly ways of thinking, and I don't mean manly like masculine, but manly like human beings, um, mankind, um, are wrong. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. That's why killing is a sin. You don't supposed to kill other people. You don't even supposed to get too angry. Anger is a sin. Like lust is a sin. Gluttony, which is too much of something specifically eating though but too much something greed all those things that are sins is to the seven deadly sins versus the seven de de um the seven virtues not deadly but the seven virtues versus the seven deadly sins y'all y'all i know people be i've watched in my life people mock people who all of a sudden have some godliness and then some godly ways of thinking some godly ways of doing things when they take that switch and they life change and they turn around their life and stuff i've witnessed how people react to these type of people and it's very evil i know how evil it is and that's why the evil people killed jesus when jesus was doing everything that was right and that was that was um of god 
that I know how it's going to be. And that's exactly why, you know, before we get to that heaven on earth, there's going to be a war. Now, is it going to be like how we learned in the history book about how people in the United States, they went off to war and how, you know, our, our U.S. troops was just in Afghanistan, all that kind of stuff. Is it going to be like that? No. You want to know why it's not going to be like that? Because that was more man-made. That was more man-type than spiritual type. This is a spiritual war. This is purely the whole of mankind being either influenced by the almighty God of love, peace, harmony, justice, fairness, all that kind of stuff, the real realities versus the karmic, the karmic, um, sinful devilish type people, the ones being led by, by the entity of sinfulness, the entity of Satan and all that kind of stuff. And that's exactly why we all know who wins, who's, who's really that person. It's God. It's God. It's God. Satan didn't create us. Satan didn't create the world the way the world is supposed to be and the, the idea of everything he didn't. He was a part of the plan and he turned with his human ways, his his manly type ways of sinfulness because like we all said, it all was introduced when Adam and Eve, you know, did what they did. They bit the apple. The Adam bit the apple. And that's why men have Adam's apple. Ain't no debate. Don't debate with me. Don't debate with me. Adam did it. They both did it. But Adam, Adam, Adam knew. Well, mm. but no, I'm being so serious. That's why men has Adam's apple. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with us. Y'all not ready for it, is it? But y'all need to be because... Y'all either gonna be on the side that rest in peace, or y'all gonna be on the side the new earth. Hey, even though if y'all be rest in peace, don't be scared because y'all the energy energy is never created and never destroyed. That's so true. You're gonna be reincarnated. You might be reincarnated into a butterfly and live for however many days. You know, I think 40 days or something like that. However long the butterfly live, and then you die again, and then you might come back as a human after that, or you might just come out uh, as a human. Or you might come out as, you know, a piece of the sky. You might come back and be a star or something. I don't know. Who knows how that system really goes until you go through it. But reincarnation is a thing. Um, And did y'all ever hear in history that that humans weren't always on the planet? Y'all know that? Oh, of course y'all do. Because in the Bible, God had to create the humans. Of course. Never mind. Never mind. I'm dumb. Never mind. Never mind. Don't Don't listen to me about that part. I'm rambling, though, because all of these thoughts, all of these things in my mind, all of these things in reality, like, what's really going on, what's happening, like, it's behind the scenes. Like, we're literally foretelling y'all all of the stuff before it happens, giving y'all the, the, the space and the opportunity to be the driver of your own seat and the driver of your car and your life and to, you know, think about, truly to think about where you are right now. Are you happy where you are right now? If things happen, if the government shut down, if we go through a default, if we go through recession, if we go through being hungry, if we go through um, not having anywhere to live, all that kind of stuff, are y'all in a community, in a, in a state, in a place where you would be okay with that? Where you would be comfortable where you're not, it's not going to be comfortable really at all. But are you at least faithful in your space, faithful in your community, faithful in the people around you that things are going to be okay? Are you in a more godly type of place or are you in a more sinful type of place? If it come down to it and people start, stop having money, are you in a place where people finna start coming trying to rob y'all and people gonna be trying to kill people to get money and get, get food and get all this kind of stuff? Or are you gonna be in a place that, oh, we just have to do good and we have to abide by the rules and we have to wait for God and we have to da 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 and we, we gonna make it through it and da 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 da. You know, that, there's a difference. There's a big difference. There's a big difference. And and I was just telling my mom a few months ago about how, yes, the environment of where we are matters. It matters for our sanity. It matters for the choices we're able to make every day. The opportunities we have, it matters. You can't be in no sinful environment and expect godly things and miracles to take place. 
karma is real. And in the Bible, just like it says, standing next to somebody and you don't know, and being around people, you don't know the commodity. You don't know the karma and the sins that they have coming back towards them. And if their stuff rock your stuff, then you were standing too close to sin. No one of God should be standing so close to sin. Because he's going to protect you through all that he can protect you through. Now, if you choose your free will to be around people or situations and environments of bad, sinful things where karma is going to come and take what it's deserving to take, and you get and you're too close, you know, things are going to happen. And that was your own fault. Because God gave you the wisdom. He gave you the information. He put it out in front of you. His people put it out in front of you. The truth. It was up to you to take it. It was up to you to take the precautions. It was up to you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But I'm going to get off of here. I could keep going. I really could. But I'm not. I'm really not. I'm going to let y'all sit and marinate and rethink and take what y'all want to take and resonate with what y'all resonate with but don't say to nobody tell y'all if y'all watch this don't say nobody told y'all when it happened and if y'all don't take the precautions you know don't never say you was never told and warned and all that kind of stuff because you were right now if you don't remember nothing from the past or whatever somebody told you or the foreshadows all the signs that happened this is another one and who knows if it could be your last sign before things pop off. Y'all better start praying. Y'all better get right. Y'all better repent. Y'all better release. Repent is basically releasing to get a lighter soul. So you're not letting things from the past and letting evil things take hold of your spirit. Because like I said, we are all, we have all, we are all of God. You have the, ch everyone has the same chance to be, to be saved because first of all, we all commit sins. We all have the same ability to become God's person, to, to put our faith in God, to trust God that what he had planned for us when we follow in his footsteps, when we follow in Jesus' footsteps, when we follow in the right direction. It's the right direction. It's never going to fail. It's the right direction. And even when it feels like it's failing, there's a bigger picture. And the only reason why it's ever going to feel like it's failing is because, yes, karma is a thing. So when you repent, that's lifting your weight off and you getting, you going, you know, you stepping into the gates. You stepping in, but you got to, you, your karma going to come. Your karma going to come. It happens to the best of us. But then after that, you know, you ain't going to, what doesn't kill you make you stronger. That's literally live by that float like a butterfly sting like a bee what doesn't kill you make you stronger um people who don't learn history are doomed to repeat it all of these quotes that are so like iconic that that we've heard since we were younger like all of these quotes like the deeper meaning it's just like it's so it's just so embedded in us we never internalized it we never internalized the information that is put in front of us we gotta internalize it all right, but I'm going to get off here. Goodbye.